Walk into Roots 101 African American Museum in Louisville. That's a heck of a piece there. And founder Lamont Collins is quick to let you see, even touch, one of the most powerful pieces here. Are these over 400 years old. Shackles these, uh, used to enslave captured Africans. Shackles now used to teach and remind. Welcome to America. Collins says he's reminded daily of how slavery, Jim Crow, and hatred broke up black families and communities, erased their generational wealth, and depressed them economically and socially well beyond slavery's end. There's no way that America can't say it does not owe people of color compensation. And now some on Louisville Metro Council are acting on that idea. A brand new resolution would show Louisville's support of reparations. If Metro Council votes for it, it would ask Washington lawmakers to study reparation proposals and then offer direct payments to black Americans descended from slaves. It's a matter of Councilman Jacory Arthur is sponsoring the resolution with another African American member of council. It's incredibly important that we put our money where our mouth is and also realize we're not even talking about paying as a city. We're calling on the feds to make that payment. But the plan could be a tough sell, both inside and outside City Hall. We spent time at both Iroquois Park and here at Waterfront Park asking people how they feel about the idea. Some said they're for it. Others, though, said they're against it at all costs. Others in the middle saying they might be for it, but don't think it can be done. It's just miseducation. While America. even people like Collins That's aren't holding their breaths, they hope the proposal will at the very least start a productive discussion about reparations, about the weight of each link, so and a discussion change. about the links Slaves of this chain, so less visible, right? but still around talk about today. 400 years seems like a long time ago, but black America is still dealing with the issues 400 years later.